Union Jack has time. Amanda Patel, are we about to fall out over this? <laughs> you know we are. Liz Truss, in whom we do I not I spoke trust. about you at the start of the show. Did you not hear me? Jealous <laughs> and sexist <laughs> critics. I might as well have just said I'm Amanda sorry. Bloody Patel. She has hardly been in the job for a year as Foreign Secretary. Laid has taken all the credit for Nazardine for coming out. Well, she did it. It is. She so did not. She achieved it. it. There, were, there were Foreign Office officials there for four months negotiating this. She's a... She's just a glory seeker. And what about all of those Brexit post uh, post Brexit trade deals? That I must thought not you told us we had either. to keep this bitch short. <laughs> Let's trust Adam is Brooks. Mine. Adam Brooks, over to you. It's the uh, COVID tyrant Nicola Sturgeon uh, for extending mask rules. Oh yes, yeah, very good choice. And Daisy McAdrew, this is this can now make sense. Who this was Caitlin that. Moran describing as a bit of a tit? Uh, this very very rich Republican financier and investment broker called Peter Schiff. The only thing he tweeted or he commented on after Zelensky's address to Congress was how disgraceful it was that he was wearing a T-shirt. Doesn't he own a suit? And how disrespectful he was uh, to the United States establishment and Congress. To which Kayla Moran said, what a tit. Or don't be a I tit. Mean, it's not often I ever agree with Kayla Moran. Cannot stand the woman. <laughs> but Peter Schiff, my God, what an absolute yeah. union jackass. Talk about not reading the room. Zelensky's in the middle of a war. <laughs> Who gives and a he looks damn really, what he's wearing? And he looks really hot in that T-shirt. Oh, give it up, Amanda. <laughs> Very he's, good choice. I'm going to wear a T-shirt next week. Wouldn't oh, work. Oh, there he was. He looked perfection, didn't he?